Ladies and gentlemen, now let us watch the video profile of McCreary University. Welcome to Macquarie University. Did you know that when the Macquarie campus was established more than 50 years ago, it was done with collaboration at its heart? Our visionary founders chose a bold location away from the city centre, but an area where they predicted Sydney would boom. And they weren't wrong. Our stunning 126 hectare campus is uniquely located in the heart of not only Australia's, but the Southern Hemisphere's largest high-tech precinct. Such a location enables you to connect and collaborate with future employers in some of the country's leading organisations while you're still studying. Through internships and other practical work experiences, as well as through degrees that have been co-designed with industry partners, you'll gain the knowledge and skills you'll need to meet the current and future challenges of your chosen profession. Okay, so it's great that there's an amazing hub of innovation right next door to the campus, but what about the actual campus? Having had more than $1 billion invested in the campus in recent years, Macquarie is home to some of Australia's most exceptional facilities. Our newest building, One Central Courtyard, is where you're going to love spending a lot of your on-campus downtime. Standing atop grassed and paved courtyards, this central hub is home to the iconic U-Bar, as well as 16 food outlets. There's also an awesome terrace that overlooks the lake. Yep, we have a lake. It's also home to our new on-campus student residential accommodation, which features studio, twin and apartment options, communal social areas and 24-7 on-campus security. If you're in need of some quiet study time, you'll most likely head to the library. Only 10 years old, the library provides access to millions of print and electronic resources. It features group and quiet study areas, computers, printers and copiers, presentation practice pods and a cafe. And if you're into sport and fitness, you're going to love our sport and aquatic centre, which features two pools, a gym, courts and fields. Now you're probably wondering what specific facilities are available in your area of study. If you're an arts, law or linguistics student, you're going to seriously enjoy studying in our world-leading spaces. Our new arts precinct features flexible classroom spaces, a language centre, museums, a cafe, atrium and rooftop garden. Our linguistics department offers one of the best equipped research and clinical environments in the world. And we're home to the Macquarie Social Justice Clinic. If you're studying education, you may have access to training through the Mia Mia Child and Family Study Centre, the Special Education Centre or the Next Sense Institute. As a business student, you'll have access to our Finance Decision Lab, a collaborative space that facilitates hands-on financial market simulations and workshops. If you're studying engineering, you'll have opportunities to get involved with real projects, like working on a go-kart or the MQ Speed Team's human-powered vehicle. If IT, games design, app development or cybersecurity are your thing, you'll be kept busy in our industry-leading computing precinct with cybersecurity, networking and gaming labs. For media buffs, you'll hone your skills in our multi-million dollar media hub with professional screen, recording, music, radio and performance studios and an industry standard digital newsroom. If you're undertaking a health, medical or psychology degree, you could be studying alongside experts from MQ Health and Cochlear, or within our simulation hub, anechoic chamber, or even our on-campus hospital, physiotherapy suites or new clinical education building. As a science student, you can't do much better than studying in some of the best physics, molecular sciences, biology and environment labs in Asia Pacific. And one last facility that's very important to us is the Wollongamuru Pavilion. Macquarie recognises the custodianship of the land on which our campus is situated. The Wollomadigal clan of the Dairug Nation and the Wollongamuru Pavilion is a gathering place for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students, staff and visitors. So, that's our campus. But how do I get from one facility to the next, you ask? That will be down Wally's Walk named after Macquarie architect planner, Dr. Walter Abraham. This central pathway runs the entire length of the university, 
and links all of our amazing facilities. I'm sure you'll agree, our campus is pretty spectacular. We can't wait to see you here sometime soon. To book a campus tour, visit mq.edu.au slash campus dash tours. Let's give a round of applause to McCready University. Ladies and gentlemen, renowned for expertise in areas like business, media and communication, IT, cybersecurity, engineering, science, humanities, medicine and health. McCready University offers a wide range of exceptional undergraduate, postgraduate, and higher degree research degree informed by world leading research discoveries. Let's now invite Professor Rodan Wilkinson, Deputy Vice Chancellor of McCready University. Mr. Jonathan Wiley, Vice President Strategy, Planning and Performance of McCready University to share us some overview of McCready University. Professor Rodin and Mr. Jonathan, the stage is yours. Thank you, thank you very much for that warm welcome. As you've heard, my name is Rodin Wilkinson. I have the privilege of being the Deputy Vice-Chancellor at Macquarie University. I'd like to thank you all for coming we are building a very deep partnership, partnership here between MNC University and Macquarie University. And I'm very grateful to Jessica. Thank you very much for your hospitality and the, uh, the opportunity to learn much more about what you do, the corporation generally, but also your educational aspirations. Yudi, thank you very much for leading us through a, a new industrial age, uh, 5.0. One of the things that I reflect upon as you walked us through each of the industrial ages was how quickly we change our vernacular, how we move from 3.0 to 4.0 to 5.0. And I think every single one of you who is studying at MNC University has an opportunity to actually lead 6.0, 7.0, and whatever the future holds beyond that. And I'll say a little bit more about that in a moment. But also to distinguished colleagues at MNC University and beyond, thank you for your hospitality that you've shown us here. We feel deeply humbled by what you've shown us, so thank you. Jonathan and I are going to lead you through an insight into Macquarie University. And what I think you'll see from the presentation that we have is that there is a very deep alignment of values between our university and what is being expressed by MNC University and MNC Group. We're a university of service and engagement, and that matters extraordinarily to us because that service component is about transforming lives. It's about generating new knowledge that we relay to our students through an exceptional educational experience that then results in having the capacity for all of our students to have an extraordinary impact on the world. Yudi walked you through four deeply inspirational characters. Every single one of them has a story that you don't know about. The story is the one that you all have in your minds right now. And that is where you are from. The hopes, ambitions, and dreams that you all have that you don't want to share. But the future that you're going to have by engaging with very high quality education will mean that you reflect back on those beginnings and hopefully, because it's, it's part of the social bargain that you have to have with your future generations, you will share that story so that they can see that your life was transformed and you can help them transform their own lives and Indonesia and the world. So that's some of what we're going we're gonna to talk about today. We have a, a, we have a, a slide deck here. Um, if you can move through the slide deck for us, that would be great. You've got a clicker, Jonathan, so let's move to the next slide. Experience. It's the teacher of all things. Its lessons propel you forward to overcome obstacles and learn how far you can go. It's what makes you, you. And it's at the heart of every Macquarie University degree. It means you can combine virtual and on-campus learning and personalize your degree with courses co-created by industry leaders and degrees with inbuilt internships 
You learn directly from those with experience. When you're powered by our collective, you get the experience you need to get ahead. You become more than just you. You become you to the power of us. Macquarie University. I think that video is incredibly inspirational, and that's the campus that I walk onto every day and work in. We are a university that really believes the you to the power of us. The you is all of you, and us is what we deliver to ensure that you have your life transformed. It's about growth. It's about your personal growth. It's about leading in a digital age. It's actually about an educational experience that will be quite different in the future from what we've presented here. It won't be about blended learning where some of us are on screen and some of us are in person. It will be about a learning that is beyond place and time where everything that you wear, that Yudi had outlined, the patches that we will all have on our skin, the heads-up displays in our glasses, will be our inroad into an exceptional education experience. And Macquarie is at the forefront of developing that across all of our departments. So the you to the power of us matters because it's constantly evolving and it's that partnership between all of us and all of you. And it underpins the partnership that we're developing with Jessica, with colleagues in um, MNC University, and our small contribution to Indonesia. Jonathan. I'd like to offer you the uh, warm greetings of our Vice-Chancellor, Bruce Doughton. Professor Doughton can't be here with us on this visit, but he sends through myself, Jonathan, and Hedda his deep, warm uh, greetings and respect to you all. He's been very instrumental in bringing this partnership together with Jessica's father, with Bruce, and with now, with us. And in case you didn't catch who we were, that's us. <laughs> okay. I think there's something really critical about partnering with an Australian institution. Australia really does have an advantage in higher education. It's very forward-thinking. It's benefited from an extraordinary amount of government um, assistance and help in building what is now a world-leading higher education sector. Australian institutions rival any anywhere else in the world. And Macquarie counts among its alumni not only extraordinary people like Jessica, but people who shape societies across the world. That advantage is built because we all work hard. The toil that Jessica talked about, the excitement that Yudi talked about, and it's meant that we're very proud to say, and Jonathan will talk a little bit more about this in a moment, that our student experience as a result of all of the hard work of our colleagues is number one in Sydney. And if you look at the educational institutions that Sydney has, you'll see that that's no mean feat. And of course, we benefit from living in what I think is the world's most extraordinary city. Every morning, I drive across that bridge to get from my home to the place that I work. I'm refreshed by the multiculturalism that is a core component of Sydney. The safe lifestyle, the warmth, though we don't think it's particularly warm at the moment because we've had an awful lot of, of rain, but the warmth that graces our every day. It's an extraordinary place to live. I'm going to hand over to Jonathan Wiley now who will walk you through um, some other elements of our university experience and we can have a question and answer session afterwards. Jonathan. Thank, thank you, Warden. We had the honor of visiting Lido City uh, on Monday of this week, the first day that we were in Jakarta. And it reminded me of some of the history that I've learned in the 11 years now that I've worked with Macquarie University. And what you see behind me is not 11 years ago, but almost 60 years ago when the university was founded uh, what was a parcel of market gardens and unused land and the very beginnings of some buildings of Macquarie University. I can recognize those in the videos that you've seen. Jessica may be nodding and recognizing a couple from her time. The campus when you came, Jessica, to us was transformed from what you see behind me. The campus that we have today is transformed once again from a billion dollars worth of uh, investment over the last decade. 
What we believe we have built and what the public rankings show is that Macquarie is now a world-class university. And we are delighted to be partnering with you and to engage with you in your ambition to do it not in 60 years, but to do it in a much shorter time frame in, indeed. And your aspiration to become a world-class university by 2037 across your five-year plans each of the next five sets of five years. We have risen up the university rankings in the world. We've focused very, very heavily on our students. And I think the two that we are most proud of are a ranking for employability for our students, because ultimately that transformative power of education plays out through employability and life prospects. And then also in the student experience, because you are investing your time, your energy, and your resources in your choice of university for study. And we believe that we owe you a commitment if you come to study at Macquarie University of a wonderful, wonderful experience. Rorden mentioned that we are a university of service and of engagement. First, we serve our staff and students, most importantly, through transformative learning. And that learning is informed by discovery. But we also serve and engage the world. We engage and serve the world through discovery, through creating new knowledge. And that is why research is such an important part of the Macquarie University family. And then we do so by partnership. We think of ourselves as an institution of which everyone is a member. Our students are members of the university. Our staff are members of the university. Our alumni are members of the university. And as I was talking to Hedda last night, she said, well, members one word. There's another, and it's simply family. And we do see ourselves as a Macquarie University family. It was so delightful last night to meet a dozen of our alumni and to sit in the Park Hyatt Hotel, a rather beautiful venue to receive our family, and, and to reconnect with folks who had graduated with us some five to seven years ago and to see how deeply connected they are one with another. And as we return after the pandemic, they were delighted to see us. So a family, but a family that connects with industry and with the broader world some two and a half thousand industry partners that we work with in our research, in our learning and teaching, in placements for our students, and in, in reaching out into the world. Rankings matter. Um, they're not everything, but we all understand a league table. We all understand that it's helpful for us to have external validation of how we are going. And I'm delighted to say that particularly in business, our university has done remarkably well. Our global MD MBA, which is delivered entirely digitally and across the world, has been voted first in Australia and sixth in the world. Our, our, our MBA, I, I keep being tempted to call it traditional or normal, it is neither of those things, but it is not our global MBA, it is one that involves face-to-face -face as well. That is number one in Australia and in the top 20 in the world as is our Masters of Finance. One of our newer degrees, and you I think so much of what you said rang true. Uh, you may have seen Rorden and I nodding at the speed with which coding turns into low code, turns into no code, turns into something that's as easy to use today as an iPhone from when I can remember opening a computer program on my very first computer typing into MS-DOS so that I could find the executable file our Masters of Business Analytics, taking data, data science, and computer science from our Faculty of Science and Engineering, working with our world-class business school, and beginning to bring data, computing, and business together. We've seen a little bit in that wonderful video of the campus that we have built, and I will just use some imagery to move behind. I'll talk a little bit about the experience of Macquarie University. Rodan, you may, you may chip in. But just to begin with, our biggest innovation of the last little while in terms of our campus prior to the release of the Central Courtyard was an audacious move. Macquarie is a university of brave people, of explorers. And we decided that Australia needed more in terms of research, development, and treatment in medicine and health. 
there was a fairly traditional view at many of the medical schools in Australia. They wanted to hang on to their places, their students, and they didn't fancy competition for us. We decided that we'd have a go anyway. And Macquarie University decided and succeeded some 10 years ago now in being Australia's first university to build, to own, and to operate its own private hospital with a vision of heal, learn, and discover. And so as well as those, all those wonderful things that Macquarie has been known for for its 60 years, in the last decade, we have seen the growth and the eminence of our work in health. The hospital is there for the treatment of sick people. I myself have benefited from treatment in that hospital. In it is some of the most cutting edge technology that you will see anywhere in the world. One of my staff, when I worked at the university, had a brain tumor and would have had to travel to Germany or the United States for treatment had he not had access to our hospital and the Gamma Knife, which is the only one in the Southern Hemisphere uh, in the entire world. A completely non-invasive treatment, not one incision, not one cut, but the use of technology and really precise radio treatment to be able to heal him. And some 10 years later, he's looking rather well. <laughs> the whole precinct then integrates and this is something that you do not see in any other university in Australia. And again, I think speaks to the vision of our Vice Chancellor, Professor Bruce Datton, and his experience at Harvard and of traveling around the world, working with governments and the private sector to really build a pipeline of medical training and of research and to connect that to societal benefit. Our campus is now simply stunning. We have always put students at the heart of what we do, but our campus didn't always reflect it. And now, after a billion dollars of investment, thought and care, it is an incredible experience as we have come out of the restrictions around COVID and begun to see our campus come back to life. Here behind me, you see our first open day where we're welcoming families, prospective students, and our broader community into that wonderful campus that we have at Macquarie University. It comprises four main faculties, covering almost all the disciplines you could imagine a university would. Our new faculty of medicine, health, and human sciences. I've talked a little about the hospital, but that also then comprises cognitive science and psychology, which Judy has identified as something increasingly important, especially for those of us who spend a lot of time at work but also uh, physiotherapy uh, and other allied health treatments that really treat the individual as a whole person rather than as one specific symptom. In science and engineering, we are building in computer science and in uh, engineering, hard, big, civil, as well as electronic, and most importantly, nano. And then we begin to see the connections between the disciplines that we've had in many universities. Nano engineering connecting into health. Health connecting into health leadership with our business school. And so one of the newest pieces of work that we have underway, and we will release fairly shortly, will be micro-credentials and postgraduate provision in health leadership. But that doesn't sit disconnected then to our Faculty of Arts. Um, we traditionally think of our English literature, our languages. We have, I think, the, the highest uh, proportion of ancient Coptic Greek scholars within uh, any university in the Southern Hemisphere at Macquarie. But sitting in there alongside them are our philosophy department. And if you pause and think about the prevalence of AI, even now, but into the future, AI gets driven on data. Much of the data that we have represents decisions that were made previously. Those decisions were often subject to inherent bias. So who is it that thinks about whether or not we need to reconsider the decisions that were made in the past rather than simply recreate them through artificial intelligence. And it's those sorts of thoughts about equity, about diversity, and about moral uh, judgments that get made through artificial intelligence and machine learning that our philosophy department are, are, are dealing with right now. And they sit with our folks in cybersecurity and security studies uh, and, and help us to think through not just how we might do things, but why we might do them and how we might do them better. 
I've been privileged to join Macquarie University some 11 years ago, and I have seen the place utterly transform. What you see behind me is an expression of our heart and our soul. And we've talked about being a, a university of service and engagement. And as we then serve and engage our students in our community, we look to those who are immediately around us, as well as those who are further afield. And we are so privileged to be here today in Jakarta and to be so warmly welcomed by Jessica, you and your family, Mariati, by you as rector of the college and, and to meet your chair of your academic senate today. We've had so much time from deans, from staff, and we even got to enjoy an accounting class briefly, unannounced. I'm, I'm very pleased that the lecture was unruffled by our arrival. Um, and continued uh, uh, thinking about the contribution margin from surfboards, I think it was, uh, as the, exam the case study for the business. But close to us, we have some very deep partnerships. We are built on our own 126 hectare campus with an adjoining technology and business park. And that business park comprises a huge number of local companies or the local versions and the local headquarters of global companies. Be it Microsoft, be it Singtel, be it Johnson & Johnson, and so many others, they sit on the campus doorstep and they engage with us. Right on our campus is the largest corporate headquarters of Cochlear. Cochlear, an Australian company who pioneer hearing treatment. And they use, for instance, the anechoic chamber in our, in our hearing hub. So a very big version of the soundproof rooms that the that, that MNC group would be so familiar with for voiceovers, for animation, and so on. That is a remarkable facility. But Cochlear and the university have a very special partnership. And indeed, one of my colleagues, a former IT director with Cochlear, um, said that the similarity was that everyone is focused on the purpose. Everyone is focused on the end customer. For us, that's our students, and for Cochlear, that is the person who will be whose life will be transformed through hearing. Uh, and it is remarkable, uh, as she has articulated to me, her induction her first week, she was in a room with a four-year-old child who for the very first time had their implant turned on and could hear for the first time in their lives. And it's through the power of transformative learning and teaching and research that those sorts of innovations happen. And we can only imagine the kinds of innovations that will come from you and the future graduates of MNC University. Our courses are not created in isolation. We design every one of our degree programs with industry. And I think another opportunity for MNC University is its proximity to the MNC group and to the wonderful things and accomplishments, the competencies and capabilities that you already have. And we hope to share more around how we go about our curriculum design with you and again to learn from you and the many impressive innovations that we have seen. Even today as we're walking around, we're beginning to look at the way in which you look at your business and analyze your business, make sure that you're serving your customers. I'm seeing in real, uh, in real time visions I have for some of the things that we can do with our digital realm as we transform it ourselves back in Sydney. Internships being built into the degree. Again, I look around and our visit yesterday and today, I think about how many of our students would be chomping at the bit, to use an analogy, to be part of what is this wonderful group. And so as we begin to explore and deepen our relationship one with another, I hope that we will be able to offer opportunities to you, students of MNC University, to perhaps come and visit us at the campus that we are so proud of. Not every one of our students feels that they are going to go on and work for someone else. Some of those, as I say, brave and somewhat audacious individuals, even from just an, their undergraduate degree in their early 20s, think, I've got an idea, and I want to go out there, and I want to start now. And so our incubator is a wonderful building, a really beautiful, airy space, constructed of wood and sitting in the midst of our Bushland campus but so deeply connected to Sydney. Over 50% of the new startups that sit in that incubator 
are started by our own graduates. And they have done remarkable things. They've done so well indeed that they've caused us a problem because our brightest and best of those startups has outgrown us. And they require more laboratory space. They also require more access to higher power computing. And we thought, we don't want to lose them. So what do you do? You build a deep tech incubator. So we are in the process of putting together our next stage of a deep tech incubator where those who are outgrowing our own facilities that are available to them, moving out of startup and into growth phase, will be able to do even better and even more. I've talked a little bit about this park behind us, but just so you can get a sense of its breadth, that campus commons and the center and the heart of the campus at the very front, stretching through some of those companies that I mentioned, all the way then to the highlights of the CBD that you can see on the edge of the, of the screen on the horizon. Happily, that is only 14 kilometers in distance, and it is a metro line away. Uh, we are very lucky that when it was built, Macquarie University had its own station on the metro line, directly into central Sydney, which will soon link straight through to the airport as well, and to the new airport that's being built uh, on the west of Sydney. But this concept of you to the power of us, it's a slightly geeky play on, on a, a number squared or to an index, but it's also very deeply part of, of who we are. That sense of service and engagement of a university that is a community as Hedda would say, it is a family, and it is the right, it is the right word to describe it. I, um, I was with the university from 2011 and went in 2016 to do a project in the UK working somewhere else, but I have been delighted to be able to come back and see the journey that Macquarie was on for those few years that I was away, and to be part of a team again around RVC, Professor Datum, and to welcome my new colleague, as Deputy Vice-Chancellor Academic, who's here on the stage with me. That has been a real pleasure. I'll close out just before I play one last video with a reminder of what we are committed to and what we are so proud of. Number one is the outcomes for our students in terms of employability. And we are very, very proud to be number one in Sydney for graduate employment. Number two, though, is that Whilst they get outcomes, they also have a wonderful, wonderful time with us. And I think that sense of family and our wonderful and caring campus is partly why we are now ranked number one in Sydney for the student experience. Perhaps next time we come back, Rawdon, we might share a little of those stories about where we came from and, and our own history, our aspirations, because education has transformed my life and I know it has transformed your life, and it has transformed the lives of so many of us who have benefited from, from tertiary study. One thing for me, it has been a wonder to have traveled all the way from where I grew up in Northern Ireland and find myself also crossing that harbor bridge in Sydney. I, I still look up and think, I'm not quite sure how I got here, and I hope they don't realize that I may be an imposter. <laughs> but I've learned that Australia has a very deep history and as we travel around the world and we meet new people from new cultures and from different parts of the world, we must tread lightly. And as I came to Australia and began to properly just begin to understand that an ancient culture had lived in Australia for a very long time before anyone arrived on a ship from, from Europe um, and claimed to have discovered anything, and our, our indigenous culture uh, in Australia is, is incredibly important and one that we are only really beginning to understand. And I hope that floods and fires of the last couple of years that, that, that have um, brought into bear our understanding of climate change and the importance of sustainability. The Australian government and many in industry are now beginning to learn from traditional uh, Aboriginal practices in terms of land, land management, and environmental management. And so, for me, it's been an up absolute honor to come back to Indonesia after such a long time, to reconnect uh, and to meet new members of the Macquarie and the MNC family. And also, I then reflect upon 
us treading lightly as we are here and so grateful for the warmth of the welcome that we've had. I'll play one last video which will connect you back to Macquarie University campus, but with its new name, uh, always Macquarie University, but the campus at North Ryde, now known as the Watermatical Campus, in recognition of the Watermatical people who have been custodians of that land for so long. And Watermatical simply means the black snapper fish, a fish which was, was caught and observed in the waters that flow through our beautiful campus. This is Wallamadigo land. Wallamadigo. Wallamadigo. This is Wallamadigo campus. Wallamadigo Niradia. Welcome to Macquarie University Wallamadigo campus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for a very interesting overview for your university, Mr. Jonathan and also Professor Rogan. Today, MNC University and MNC Group extend our warmest welcome to the representative of Macquarie University here at MNC Conference Hall, Ainus Tower, Jakarta. Now, along with Professor Rodin and Mr. Jonathan, let us welcome Mrs. Heda Paisley, Executive Director of Philanthropy of Macquarie University. Mrs. Heda, please come on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, as we have with us the representative of Macquarie University, we have a wonderful opportunity to get to know more about the university. So now we shall open question and answer session for those who would like to know more about Macquarie University. Okay, for those who want to answer, uh, ask questions, please raise your hand. All right. The girl in white, please. Thank you. Uh, good day. My name is Rasa Pramasi Sugara from Management Department, Batch 29. Uh, I have a question. Does Macquarie University have online programs like short courses that international students can take virtually? Thank you. Okay, please. That's a very good question, thank you, and it's nice to meet you. Uh, yes, we do have short programs that you can take as international students, and we're going to have many more. We're in the process of developing those programs, because part of our um, vision is that a Macquarie education is for everybody, and that everyone is welcome in our campus, whether that's virtually or physically. But part of that process for us is to make sure that the high-quality education that we have in every area is available at distance. So we're in a process of developing those subjects now. There are some available online very shortly and actually currently. Um, so you can avail yourself of those by looking at the website. But keep a lookout. There'll be many more soon. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Rodin. OK, next question, please. Is there any more questions? Okay. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Waodenon Indriani from Management Department, but 2018. I would like to ask, is there any master's degree scholarship for international students offered to the micro university? Thank you. So ma master's programs available to international students, that was the question. Yes, indeed. Um, we, we actually, I think, see an even higher proportion of international students in our postgraduate provision than we do our undergrad. 
and we have about one third of our entire student body is actually from another country uh, and a different part of the world. Uh, we have a very broad range of postgraduate programs, whether that would be masters, as I talked about, in business analytics in our business school, whether it's a masters of science or engineering in the faculty of science and engineering, in, in our faculty of arts and so on. Um, and all the way through to much more specialist work, whether that would be study for a PhD where someone is engaged in research, starting with a master's of research, honing skills in research, and then going on to, to become a doctor with a view to either specialism very tightly within an area of, of, of activity, or perhaps progression on even to an academic career and becoming a lecturer themselves. So we, we have a very broad and diverse international population at the university engaged in our postgraduate courses. Let me add one thing to that as well, because Jonathan's rightly um, spoken with you about the huge range of master's programs available. Our international students rate their experience at Macquarie higher than at any other Sydney-based university as well. And we see our international students actually really choose Macquarie over every other university in Australia because of that. Okay, thank you. Maybe uh, I'm interested in taking my PhD in your university someday. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that would be excellent. Um, one, of, one of the ways in which we built so many partnerships across the world is actually in collaboration for research students. Um, and Macquarie has co tutel arrangements with a large number of institutions across, across the world where we actually have joint research activities and joint studies for students who are working towards their PhD. So who knows, maybe one day we could have a co-tutel arrangement in place in Indonesia and we would be able to see you do part of your PhD with us and part of it here. Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, is there still any questions? Maybe one more question? No more questions? I might make a comment. Okay. It's me here. <laughs> Sorry. I just wanted to say um, an enormous thank you for, for having us here. But I want to say something to the students here today. And I think you have an extraordinary opportunity ahead of you. Um, if you can believe in yourselves and if you can believe that anything is possible, you will conquer everything. And I think the vision that you have at this university under Jessica and the staff is extraordinary. And I think just remember that every day. Remember every day to, to, to think of all of the opportunity. And as Rawdon said before, you know, what you think you might be today, or if you haven't thought about it and you need to think about it, you can get in that cave. <laughs> I'll be in the bath. <laughs> but, but take that nugget and, you know, I would even say write it down and put it somewhere safe and come back to it in a few years and really think about it and think about what it was that you thought you might be and what you may now become. But the world is yours and I think, you know, today you're embarking on a new thing as a brand new student. Take that. Be bold. Be brave and be excited about the future. And thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much uh, for a very interesting question and answer session. We would like also thank you to Professor Rodin, al Heida, and also Mr. Uh, Jonathan. Please uh, remain seated because we will have photo session after this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before we end our time today, let us take a moment to capture this very special event. I would like to invite Mrs. Jessica Tanusudibio, Mr. Yudi Hamka, Professor Martavani Cahyandito, and Mrs. Mariati Tirtawiata to come on stage for having photo session. I would like also invite the media and also photographers to take 
a pictures of very remarkable event. Okay, I'll count uh, until three. Uh, the first session is a formal session. One, two, three. Okay, the second session is uh, free session. <laughs> One, two, three. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. Okay. One more. One, two, three. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, please be seated, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give applause to the honorable guest from Macquarie University, Mr. Mr. Yuri Hamka, Mrs. Jessica, and also Mrs. Mariati Tirtawiata. <laughs>